Howdy partners and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Planet Coaster Frontier Adventure here on Theme Park Worldwide. Now of course the previous two episodes to this one were all focused inside that large show building that you can see there, building the dark ride that we now know as Dirty Dan's Desert Deluge. And of course it looks great on the inside, but in this episode I'm going to be sorting out the outside because as you can see you've got all the black roof just there, and that's the star cloth on the other side, so we're going to be covering that over uh, then of course you got all the walls at the front it just looks like a pretty plain and boring building at the moment but that is going to change in the next few minutes as we work on the facade now as part of this there's going to be a couple of support rides coming into this area too flat rides really important for a park i mean you've only got to see my uh, news update about alton towers from yesterday to know about that one so check it out if you've not already seen it um, but yes it's all about making sure we've got some nice support rides around here uh, you know when i was building tam post and this area of the park where the rapids are and the train station the Gerslai Eurofighter didn't really put any flat rides in because I knew that there was going to be a sort of side area if you like where I'm working here um, to put some support rides in and that is exactly what I'm doing now so as you can see we've got one of them really nice cool flat rides that are pretty rare actually that spin round and basically you sit in them and you can turn like a lever and it just makes you spin as you spin round and round so that's quite a cool little ride so I thought I'd put one of those in and also we've gone for a uh, nice little carousel there as well only the small one I did see how the big one looked you probably saw me just having a bit of a mess with that just but I thought no the small merry-go-round was the better choice. Along with that, I wanted to put a couple of food outlets in here as well. Of course, we haven't got any food outlets kind of between the entrance area and the rapids, so I thought that would be the perfect place um, to put some in just here. Um, so yeah, it's just sort of off the side from the from the Gerslai Eurofighter that we built right back at the start of the series. Can't believe that it's the 10th week, to be honest, and this park is really coming together um, so nicely now. I'm very pleased with how it looks. Um, when you zoom out, you can really see that, um, you know, on this left-hand side, it's starting to look complete, other than, you know, a couple of empty spaces, really, that are all going to be filled. Um, in this episode and the next episode too. So um, like I've already mentioned, I'm going to be building a heavily themed mine train coaster. That's going to be coming up in episode 11 next Wednesday. Uh, but I am going to start putting in the entrance area for that um, later on in this episode. So more about that later. So yes, I've put in the two different flat rides and of course I'm going to need names for those. So um, like I say, we're still in the area of Tan Post here. Uh, and yeah, we've got Dirty Dan's Desert Deluge for the dark ride, which is fantastic. Um, and then of course I'm going to need a name for the carousel and also as well uh, for the spinning ride that we've put in. So uh, get them name suggestions coming in. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing those and I'll pick a couple of names out and uh, reveal those in next Wednesday's episode. Now as you can see then, I'm just starting work on the facade now making sure that all of the different buildings that I'm putting on here are actually higher than that black roof that we've got um, just to make sure that that's covered over from ground level uh, and if any guests are on the rides they're not just going to look over and see a plain and boring um, show building. I, I like to make sure that those things are covered up so yeah you can see that I'm uh, just working on that now and putting the facade together we're going to have like a blacksmith along here we're going to have a, a schoolhouse we're going to have a barber shop, lots more different buildings um, that can all be along the facade Facade. and of course we all know that on the other side of that is the large show building for Dirty Dan's Desert Deluge. If you haven't already seen episode 9 I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I did a, a very funny uh, voiceover, the commentary for it and mixed it in with some music as well. A lot of you seem to think that it was the best dark ride and some people said that even the best ride I've ever built in Planet Coaster. Um, thank you, it's definitely my favourite dark ride that I've built. I wouldn't say it's my favourite overall ride but it's my favourite dark ride that I've built and uh, you know what, I'm really pleased with how it's come together there's even still a couple of bits in there that i'm going to add um, to the ride a few more lighting changes and programming of some of the animatronics um, like the skeletons for example at the end just so they're um, activated when cars go past um, and not just going all the time i've decided to make that change now uh, there's a couple of other areas where the explosion is just uh, changing some of the trigger um, sequences in there but that'll all be done before this park opens to the public as i've mentioned in various different episodes over the past 10 weeks um, of this series still can't believe it's been 10 weeks where's the year going 
Um, you know, I've mentioned this before, but the park isn't going to open until it's complete. That's mainly because of how heavily themed it is. I wanted to make sure that the whole place is complete um, and then I can open it up. And of course, as always, with all of my creations here, um, they will be in the Steam Workshop about a week after um, the final episode of this series. But we've still got a few more episodes to come. Um, like I say, I'm going to be uh, in episode 11 building um, this fortress, which is going to have a mine train coaster. Uh, then this side of the park will be complete. The left side, the back side of the park is complete. The front's complete. It's that right hand side. And uh, of course, over by the log flume. So the plan is to build a thrill coaster over there and also as well, um, possibly another flat ride and a show venue. I'm going to put in a large show venue, which would be good, like a stunt show. That'll probably be the last thing that I work on before we get this park open. Um, and then, of course, that'll be just a few days before the real theme parks open, because here in the UK, theme parks should be reopening from April the 12th, um, which is fantastic. And me and Charlotte are really excited to get back in the parks. Charlotte's missing being in the video so much. We're hoping to film something, actually, in the next couple of weeks um, So together. So that'll be really nice to share again, because um, I'm missing Charlotte being in the videos. I know you are all too. She's not been in a video yet this year. Um, so honestly, we're looking forward to putting something together. And most importantly, um, getting back out in the parks together and just having some amazing times, amazing memories and, and sharing those with all of you on YouTube. We can't wait for that. And it's going to be amazing just to get back in the parks together. I can't wait to just get on some rides again with Charlotte. Um, it will be fantastic. Um, she's such a joy, isn't she? And she brings so much happiness to me and to the channel. Um, you know, and, and honestly, I just can't wait to have some more memories together. It's going to be brilliant. It really is. As you can see then, putting in another little saloon here, it's not actually a building that you can go into because all of this is fake because it's a facade um, for what's on the back of it, which is the show building. Um, but yeah, it's just making sure that this looks as good as it can do from all of the different angles. Uh, we've got a couple of different balconies on there. We're going to put a couple of animatronics up on the top. And this all hides the queue line, actually, that's underneath it as well. Um, put quite a long queue line in for this um, because I think it's going to be quite a popular ride because of its position in the park as well but luckily it does run a lot of different ride vehicles to keep that throughput um, as high as possible now, in terms of how this park has come together so far, um, it's a lot better than what I was originally thinking. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be as well. And I feel like for 10 episodes in, this park has got so much going for it. Lots of big rides, major rides. I don't really know how it's come together so quick, to be honest, because it feels like I've built so much. I mean, it's bigger than uh, Christmas Wonderland. And that was, of course, 10 episodes, nine of, of really building for that. So, yeah, I'm, I, you know, I can't believe how it's all come together as much as it has so quick quickly to be honest but like I said the year just seems to be flying doesn't it 2021 is going so quick already the fact that um, you know we're going to be coming up to the middle of March soon uh, something I'm really looking forward to though of course is the lighter evenings because that means you know being back in the parks the season's starting up again and the seasons aren't really starting too late really uh, because of the lockdown restrictions it's only a couple of weeks after the parks would have opened anyway so we're not really missing too much of the season and it's going to be great for these parks like I've said in multiple posts on social media and here in videos uh, these parks really need as much support as possible and here at theme park worldwide we're going to give it them we're going to get out to these parks um, all year and share lots of content and we'll be starting off of course um, with the uk parks with hopes of getting abroad to some of these new rides that are opening um, in the in the later part of the year but it all depends on all sorts of different things when borders reopen travel restrictions um, all that kind of stuff we'll just have to see what what happens with that one really um, so we've got the entrance to the queue line which has been disguised as like a dance hall so we'll put some props and theming about there um, on the inside just to kind of reflect that as well and there's going to be a lot of props in between the pathways and the building i intentionally built this dark ride quite far away actually from the pathway because i knew all along that there was going to be a couple of um, flat rides at the front of this and making it its own sort of mini area if you like um kind of on the side of tan post and talking of mini areas um fort Cherokee is what i'm going to be building in the next episode and this fortress um is going to be accessed by a lake there's going to be one path in one path out um, and then once you get up into the fortress there's going to be no facility 
amenities up there. There's going to be no toilets. There's going to be no um, restaurants or anything because it's not going to need them because there's toilets just off the side of it um, just before you walk over there. And it says it's going to be an entrance and an exit to the mine train coaster. But instead of it just being, you know, a pathway that connects the, the queue line over to the main path, I thought let's have this one path going over because it looked better. So Fort Cherokee is what I'm going to be building. And you're going to see the preparations for that um, in the latter part of this episode. So just to make sure it didn't look too samey all along here, I've got all sorts of different um, styles of buildings going on, different uh, pieces of wood of course, some of the more modern wood there for that roof, some of the older wooden beams, um, all sorts of different bits just to give it a bit of character really. Um, and that's one thing I'm pleased about that's come together with this park is that the buildings, you know, they don't look too samey in a lot of the areas. Uh, I managed to, you know, I've got that sort of kind of New Mexico style area that we did, you know, that's come together nicely. Um, you know, so the buildings have got a lot of differences to them, um, so I'm pleased with that. And of course, we've still got the, the mine themed area to really finish off. All I've really done with that um, is, of course, the log flume. But it's nice to have not had the whole park kind of following that same mining feel because we've got lots of different areas here, you know, but it all follows under that Wild West theme. But there's a lot of uh, differences too um, that I am uh, really pleased about. So as you can see then here, just adding some more details now onto the uh, saloon there that we've got, the ranch, sorry, that we've got over at the side. And um, the saloon's a little bit further across. It's Longhorn Ranch that I've called it. Um, and that's kind of the end of the show building. We've got the actual queue line under there as well. I just think it's quite nice how the queue line kind of starts inside, then goes outside again. Then it's got covered over areas. Um, there's actually going to be a, a lake just built next to this. And we're going to actually connect that lake up with the river system that's already in place in the park. Um, so that should look quite nice um, as well. I decided to kind of expand the water area. I didn't really think that, you know, I wanted any more water, but after putting in this dark ride and thinking of the idea of this fortress on the other side, I just thought that it'd be a really good idea to put some more water in. So you'll see me doing that a little bit later. Now that the facade is looking pretty much complete, as you can see, I'm getting some of the uh, light posts in there um, and attaching them all the way around. They've got the miners' lamps there. I thought, yeah, we'll add some of those on. All sorts of different ones. I quite like this classic style as well uh, that you've got. I mean, they're from the Spooky Pack, them round sort of globes, but I like them. I think they kind of fit with the, the Wild West theme. Then you've got the classic standard light there as well that definitely fits with Wild West. But um, yeah, I like using a, a bit of variety uh, when it comes to the uh, lighting on there as well of course we've got the blacksmith there so we'll put a couple of uh, minor style lamps onto that and we'll make sure that the facade's got um, a lot of different lighting shining up at it from ground level as well just to give it a little bit of a change uh, as you can see here, just putting in some props now all around the front of the queue line. Got a nice uh, wagon just there um, and all sorts of different things that I like to put around um, just, just to fill in the gaps. I don't really like many gaps in my parks, to be honest. I like to keep it very full, lots to look at. And that's what I like when I go to a theme park. And I think that's what a lot of people like. Maybe not everyone. A lot of people, you know, uh, do enjoy the theming aspect. But I imagine there's still quite a few people that like big open areas. I'm not really a huge huge fan unless it's um, like a centerpiece for the park kind of like the Alton Towers lawns for example you know they're there because of course we've got the towers ruins behind them um, so yeah you know unless it's something like that but in general I like to have the space filled in at parks where necessary um, and that's what I'm doing here all these little uh, cracks that we've got around the park that I can add parts into um, you know just to fill it in a little bit so it looks better um, I tell you what how many barrels and wheels and of these crates and stuff do you think there is in this park there is a lot isn't there I've put loads in um, I'm sure guests will be going around trying to count them that could be a good little game couldn't it you know like how they have um, the hidden mickeys at the Disney parks like the hidden barrels in this park uh, now I've finished working on the facade and some of the props out the front started to put some theming in here um, around one of the flat rides. Now, this took a long time, so I only show you a little clip of this, and then you'll see in just a second how these are all done, because this took ages to kind of get them round. There wasn't really a quicker way of doing it, to be honest, because of how it's all positioned on a circle. Um, you know, like the copy and pasting that you can do in the game wouldn't really do it for that. So, yeah, it took about 15, 20 minutes to do that, but it was certainly worth it. The reason that we're putting all these celebration flags up because it is all part of Tampos that's still going through, of course, that celebration. Um, so, yeah, if you want to find out all about that, head back uh, into episode two in the series. That's when I kind of go into detail and share all of that. 
had a bit of a change of heart with that path. I was just going to put it in for show, not for guests to access, but thought it didn't look quite right. So I decided to put some wooden boarding instead. Uh, instead, we've got this little uh, door on the side of the show building. I'd say that's more for maintenance of the of the area and the ride um, so they can get into there. So thinking about some of the backstage opportunities um, at this park as well. And again, it's left a little space there to put in like a chuck wagon um, and a few other bits of theming around. But yeah, you can start to see how this is coming together nicely now. Of course, it wouldn't be an episode of Planet Coaster without a bit of rock work. Um, a lot of people were surprised that I didn't mention the rocks in the uh, in the audio that I did um, for Dirty Dance. Uh, but yeah, I thought, well, I've already mentioned rock work a lot. So I thought that, uh, yeah, I won't mention it with this one. Um, but yeah, of course, some rock work's going in around here. Something else that people were disappointed by was the fact I didn't say you've got a bonus. Well, the reason is... I didn't say you've got a bonus. And let me just explain that story actually first. Basically, at Drayton Manor, there's a ride called Sheriff Showdown. And it's a bit of a joke in the vlogs on Theme Park Worldwide that, um, you know, when you're kind of shooting on there, it goes, duh, 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 you've got a bonus. So with this being Wild West Theme 2, people thought I was going to include it. Well, I wasn't hitting the targets, was I? So who knows? You've got a bonus. Might make an appearance um, in the final episode of the series when I uh, share with you an on-ride. And of course, I'm going to actually play the game as well. So stay tuned for that one. But yeah, love Share a Showdown. Please, Drayton Man, I don't ever change the audio on there. This is looking great now, so I've really thought about the terrain, build it up a little bit around the side, and now put in some more trees, just to kind of close it off a little bit from the coaster, um, just kind of so it blocks it in a little bit. Um, and then, of course, on the right, like I say, um, that's going to be all water that we're going to work on in the next few minutes over there. Just wanted to make sure there's some bushes and shrubbery around, uh, kind of mixed in with the rocks as well. Um, I like to make sure that the park is, is nicely landscaped the best it can do. And of course, we've got the uh, queue line there as well for the merry-go-round. So just making sure there's some little bits around there um, for guests to look at. Like I say, I like there to be lots to, to see. And I always look down at kind of guest level as well when I'm building, just to kind of see how it looks. Um, as you can see here, you know, to make sure that we can't see any of that black star cloth on the top. Um, and that's all covered over just how we want it to be. Got some more of the street lights going into place now around this area, um, just to make sure that's okay. And the good thing is about this, guests can kind of bypass this area if they don't want to step into it. I imagine there'd be some thrill seekers coming to this park that wouldn't be interested in either of these three rides here. So they're not kind of forced through it um, because it's got a, a pathway that kind of extends off the main path um, with this. And I wanted to do that in intentionally because that's something that I really like at parks. Um, particularly, you don't want to be sent through an area that's designed for younger visitors um you know unless that that's kind of what you're there for so yeah i kind of thought that would be um you know the, the best thing to do it does annoy me sometimes when a children's area at a park if you're trying to get to a big thrill ride you're kind of forced through it um when really you want to kind of bypass that and go around you know some different ways so yeah i tried to make sure that that was the case with this not like it's really a children's area i class it more as a family area with the rides we've put in um, because anybody could enjoy them three rides especially the dark ride and a lot of thrill seekers might still want to try that uh, but probably not everybody who's going to the park would be uh, particularly interested in that. As you can see then here, just working on some more of the signage just to make sure that the areas are split off nicely. They don't need to be too um, far sort of split off from each other um, with things, but it just needs to, you know, there needs to be a clear sort of define between the areas just to make sure that, um, you know, people know exactly where they are in part of this, this story, if you like, that's told throughout the whole park. And um, that's going to be made clear kind of as we get, go towards that finale episode, um, how the story of all this sort of, all these towns and this whole uh, sort of park um, is going to come together of course we sorted out the little chicken shack down there um, and the drink stand and made sure that we've got some uh, nice theming on that and then the moment of truth i've uh, spoke a lot about this star cloth now now it's time to get it covered over so i just wanted to make sure that this was going to look okay first all out the front before i simply just put in the tiles all the way over the top um, and covered it over and because that's nice and flat and all the different parts of the facade are quite high up that's fully covered over and from a guest down on ground level, it all kind of looks um, like it's all lots of different buildings. You know, we've got the barbershop, the schoolhouse, we've got the ranch down there, we've got a saloon, um, all sorts of different things. And yeah, you look at it from down at ground level and it looks nice, doesn't it? It all just blends together. 
as you can see then um, for now I've just put dark ride on there like I say I'm not worrying about what's on signage at the moment that's all going to be done before the park opens there's so much signage around and of course some of the earlier episodes I know there was a couple of spelling mistakes and stuff don't worry all that will get changed um, I'm, I'm going to go around at the end because it's all kind of part of my plan for this story and telling this story around the park um, as to why I haven't done all the signage yet so um, some bits have been done but not all of it some bits have been left as you can see we've put an animatronic on the outside there thought that'd be quite a nice little feature for guests looking up from the carousel really uh, and then just changing some of the terrain around here now um, you can see we've put the little uh, bit of mountain at the back um, you'll kind of see really what our, our plans are to do with that in the next episode but for now that little area of tan post is done meaning that area is now fully complete and it's time to uh, dig out this lake and connect it now like I say if I knew that I was going to be doing this I would have put this little section in here um, way back when I was building the rapids but I didn't know exactly how it was all going to pan out so um, yeah I decided to sort of just remove the path there temporarily dig that out and connect it all just to make sure that that looks okay so yeah ideally I wouldn't have put all that in there um, if I knew I was going to do it but it only took a few minutes to remove it and then as you can see now I'll just connect that path back up um, just to make sure that that's okay um, and then of course we've already got the train track that goes underneath it and really it's better for the train now because um, it goes along the water's edge which is quite nice and you'll see I add some more theming around there shortly. So this pathway is what's going to head over to this uh, Vacoma mine train that I'm going to be building in episode 11 uh, next Wednesday as part of Fort Cherokee, which will be its own kind of mini area. Like I say, it's going to be tiny. There's not even going to be any facilities there because in the building opposite here, we've got the toilets. doesn't need food over there because there's plenty of food around. So it's literally a pathway that takes you over to the entrance and exit of this ride. So that'll all come together in the next episode. I thought that it would make it a bit more exciting having it that you can only access it via this one path over water with it being a fortress as well I kind of thought that that would all play into the theme of it a lot better so yeah you know with this I kind of wanted to it to feel like you're going kind of out into the wilderness with this area there's no good there's going to be no real big buildings or anything around that ride it's more going to be the terrain some trees a couple of buildings on the top of the lift hills and that's about all so yeah you know don't expect that ride to be particularly loads and loads of stuff going on it's more going to be about the natural wonders that you're going to be experiencing around there and of course I will need a name for that but um, hold off for now until you've seen that ride being built um, in the next episode and then of course in episode 12 I'll reveal the name for that uh, but I do need the name like I say for the two flat rides that I've built in this episode so get them suggestions coming in as always you guys are amazing at coming up with these names and storylines so uh, yeah I'm looking forward to reading them in the comments um, as always it's just nice to um, you know to look through them all and see that you guys are enjoying the park and so many people have said that you know this series has kept them going through lockdown which has been amazing um, um, and honestly it's great that you've enjoyed it like I say I would have, have done a couple of episodes a week but of course I've had a lot of other projects going on filming other videos there's actually been a lot of theme park news to talk about um, along with things away from the channel too so um, you know I have only got the time to commit to one episode a week um, and like I say after this series is complete there will be a bit of a break on the channel from Planet Coaster I want to get back out into the real parks and filming real vlogs at the parks and sharing them with you all but Planet Coaster will return later in the year um, I imagine more towards the, the, the back end of the season really uh, as when Planet Coaster will come back because the plan is to just get out there and keep on riding this year that is the plan as you can see we've got the sign for Fort Cherokee putting in a little uh, boat sort of uh, jetty area um, around the side as well um, and yeah it's coming together really nicely this and I kind of think it feels a lot more complete on this left side of the park now we've got some nice flat rides in we've got a family dart ride but what we really need is a family coaster and that is going to come in the next episode we've got some big thrill rides here so i think it's a, sort of three big thrill coasters so i think it'll be really nice and refreshing to actually have a family coaster and then go in and build the the finale coaster for this park which is going to be another thrill ride you all thought i was going to say what it was going to be then but i'm going to keep you hanging on in there for now but i have kind of teased this one in the past on social media because i actually built um the, the a kind of what a dummy of this ride if you like just on a, a plain piece of land of what i wanted to do because this series was going to come last year and it never did uh, because of you know various other reasons of for going to the parks and stuff but um yeah 
So I built a bit of a dummy of it, shared it on social media, nothing came of it, but that is the ride what I'm going to build um, on, on this as a final coaster for this. So that'll be quite exciting and that'll be coming up in a few episodes time. As you can see then, we're coming to the end of this episode. Just finishing off the bridge area here now to make sure this looks okay. Using some of the uh, wooden beams there just to get this looking as good as I can do. Um, and yeah, of course, we'll finish this off in, in the next episode. And uh, when I say finish this off, kind of start with the ride itself and building this fortress. Uh, that'll be quite interesting because I'm not entirely sure on how I'm going to do it at this moment in time. But that'll funnel all come this week. I'm looking forward to doing it. Thinking of kind of putting all sorts of logs up against each other. So we'll see what that's like of course we've got some boats going in we've got a bit of a fountain package on here maybe this could be the space where we could have a bit of a fireworks show at some point um, above this lake I don't know something like that may happen in the future but there we go um, thank you very much for joining me for episode 10 10 weeks in I can't believe it what a park it's looking fantastic and look at that screenshot it looks great doesn't it because you can't see that show building at all it's covered nicely by the flat rides and of course the theming and the facade on there so Join me next Wednesday. Thank you very much for joining me. And uh, I'll be back next week where we're going to build a Vacoma mine train. It's going to be awesome. That leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you next week.